Good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Five. I'm Pastor Steve, and my goal today is to help you get your day off to a great start as we spend a little time together in the Word of God and in prayer. I hope you all had a wonderful, joyful Christmas, and I'm just looking forward to launching towards the new year together. We have been working our way through some of Paul's letters, and today we come to Paul's first letter to Timothy. And so today, as we read together, we're going to read chapter 1 of 1 Timothy. But for the purpose of our lesson, we're just going to look at a portion of that. We'll be looking at verses 12 through 17. And so if you have a Bible handy or you want to pull it up on your phone, I would invite you to join me in 1 Timothy chapter 1, beginning in verse 12. Here the Apostle Paul writes, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who has given me strength, that he considered me trustworthy, appointing me to his service. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Now to the King Eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Today, we launch into Paul's first letter to Timothy. Timothy was Paul's protege and his spiritual son. He raised him almost like his own son. Paul raised him to be a pastor, and Timothy now is serving a large church in Ephesus. And so he is now fulfilling some of that calling that Paul saw in him. But of course, Timothy is young, and he's still being coached and mentored. So in this first section, Paul is reminding Timothy that God can work in and through the most unlikely people. Paul says, look at me. Consider my situation. He describes himself as the worst of all sinners. Now, Timothy wasn't violent and he wasn't a persecutor of other Christians. But still, he struggled with whether he was qualified to be in God's service. Now, why do you think that is? For Timothy, it was his youth. Paul had entrusted him with great responsibility at a young age. But God used him powerfully, just as he used Paul powerfully, in spite of his many failings. It might seem strange that God would use someone who was so broken or who had so many strikes against him, if you will, and yet this is exactly what God does. God uses Paul and he uses Timothy just as they are. Of course, he changes them, transforms them over time. But he used Paul powerfully in spite of, of his many feelings and even to this day, God uses people who are broken, people who feel unqualified. Because in truth, that's who Christ came for. I say all this to say to us that there may be things in our own lives that make us feel as though we are not really qualified to serve Him, to, to be on His team, to, to stand in His name, if you will, and project Him, present Him. We maybe think that we don't know enough. Maybe we're a new believer, or just 
we're just beginning to learn. We feel like we just don't have enough knowledge of the, of the Word of God or the ways of God, so we feel unqualified by our lack of knowledge and experience. Or, like Paul, maybe there are things from our past that don't seem very godly. And we think that the sins of our past may disqualify us from serving in the future. But nothing could be further from the truth. God uses broken, imperfect people. As the saying goes, He does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. So, don't hesitate to jump in and use whatever God has given you for His good work. Do you join me in prayer? Lord, I thank you for this new day and this season after, after the celebration of Christmas. And I thank you for this letter to Timothy. Timothy was a young man. and He didn't have that much experience. But Paul had great confidence in him and faith and trust that he could do good work in Jesus' name. And he gave him great opportunities to serve God. And Lord, help us to know that even on those days when we don't feel all that qualified, that you still have a calling for us, you still have a purpose for us, that you are still at work in our lives. And so help us to trust in that, God, and to serve you fully in all the ways that you have called us. Help us to step out in confidence, knowing that you don't call the qualified, you qualify the called. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. God bless.